Hey everybody, Joe Lowry, what a day, happy Tuesday to everybody out there, we're halfway through the work week, almost halfway through, hump day is tomorrow, so I call this hump day eve, and you know what, one week from today is July 4th, can you believe it, the year feels like it's on cruise control, right now I can just see all that Christmas paraphernalia coming up, and I'll tell you, they'll be in stores very, very soon, because you know why, well I'll tell you why, there's only 180 shopping days left until the big day, you heard it here first folks. Well, talk about a big day for the Red Sox. They kick off a three-game series with the first-place Minnesota Twins. The Triple P's take the hill this week. For the Red Sox, it's Pomeranz, Porcello, and Price. That's right, the Triple P's. They'll take the mound this, tonight, tomorrow, and Thursday. Late-breaking news, manager John Farrell has been suspended one game and fined an undisclosed amount of money for his argument with umpire Bill Miller over this weekend's controversial Saturday Bach game. That's right, if you saw the game on Saturday, there was a Bach call. Farrell argued it. He got thrown out, and therefore the new rules are one and done. You get thrown out, you get a game suspension. How about that? By the way, he can be at the ballpark. He just can't have player contact. It means he can't be in the locker room or the dugout. Interesting to see if he does, in fact, show up there. We also want to wish Red Sox broadcaster and Red Sox Hall of Famer Jerry Remy a speedy recovery from his surgery yesterday. He had cancer surgery, as you know. He's diagnosed for a third time early this year with cancer. And yesterday's surgery was to remove a mass in his lung, we wish the well, get well, Jerry Remy, real soon. Hopefully we'll see you back there. And uh, another baseball story to come at you. Charlie Sheen, actor Charlie Sheen, that's right, admitted recently, uh, he admitted recently that he has put up his Babe Ruth 1927 World Series ring as well as the copy of the sale document that sent the Bambino to the Red Sox to the Yankees. This document is said to be worth over $996,000. We might as well just call it an even million. And as for the ring, well, that could be sold for over $500,000. Not bad. Of course, Sheen does hope it falls into a baseball collector's hands. That way they can share these historic items with the world. And another thing, TSA. You know, the airport TSA, they can't catch a break today. Over at the uh, uh, TSA employee over in Florida has been fired. After police said a surveillance showed him stealing cash. That's right. The Orlando Sentinel reports that 22-year-old Alexander Shea Johnson was arrested Thursday, last Thursday. Court records show he faces a third-degree felony grand theft charge as the uh, passenger selected for a pat-down search while going through security at Orlando International Airport saw Johnson standing near the person's bag. And the report says that she went through the bag after it realized cash was missing. They went and retrieved a surveillance video, and there you have it, another TSA Pat down, turn gone wrong. I don't know. Zero tolerance caller, um, tolerance is what TSA is saying. But right now, as for Johnson, they released her on bail. Well, up in Washington, the late breaking news, the lawmakers voted to delay voting on the proposed new health care bill. That's right. They delayed the vote until after the July 4th holiday. Of course, no exact reason was given. I know a lot of them say, you know, they want to dot, caught their, cross their T's and dot their I's and all that stuff. But to me, I think they're just stalling as Republicans want to get this right. So they get all the ducks in a row, so when the vote does come down, there's no more embarrassment. And a quick shout-out to all the hard-working doctors and nurses and administrative staff and employees over at Boston Children's Hospital. That's right, folks. They were named Best Pediatric Hospital in the Nation again. That's right. Children's Hospital of Philly and Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center rounded up the top three. In addition to Boston Children's, however, they are ranked. They were ranked again out of five or ten pediatric specialties. Gastro, nephro, neurology, orthopedics, and neurology. Congrats to the Boston Children's Hospital for that number one ranking. And speaking of number ones, I don't know if you heard in this or not, but I have. As New Englanders, this is a no-brainer. But to the rest of the NFL and the country and the top 100 pro NFL players listing came out. And our very own Tom Brady, that's right, TB12, was voted number one overall. That's right, seven seasons after being voted number one in the 2011 New England quarterback was once again teamed a top dog in the latest of the NFL Top 100. The ranking, which is determined by his fellow players through an offseason poll, is a reflection of the individual's projected performance in the upcoming season. That's right, he has a chance to win it again. Brady became just the first player to receive the honor twice. And also tonight, a big history-making match again. Money in the Bank ladder match, women's time. They take center stage over at SmackDown Live. That kicks off at 8 o'clock tonight. Again, SmackDown Live hosting the rematch, the Money in the Bank women's ladder match. Winner gets a contract, Money in the Bank, as well as a shot at Naomi in the Women's Championship. Well, that's it for me, folks. Get a sign up for my channel, www.youtube, what a day, slash Joe Lowry, what a day, all that good stuff. You got to go up there. You got to subscribe. It's free. I tell you, it's free. www.youtube.com slash Joe Lowry, what a day. You got to hit the subscribe button. It's very easy. It's very free. I need you. I need your support and all that. Well, I'm Joe Lowry. I'll see you tomorrow. Happy Hump Day Eve. Joe Lowry, what a day.